The teams are making their way out onto the field now. We'll take this opportunity to look at the two opening batsmen, David. Hey guys, and welcome back. Here's another announcement video. So far, six teams have been successfully created for my PGE T20 2015 league, and here are those six players. So if you commented on my last video, and your name is not on this list, then unfortunately there were some problems with your team. There were definitely more than six people who had commented their team, but unfortunately these six guys followed the rules. So I'm not going to talk about all the rules again in detail, but here's a quick summary of, the, of them. If this is your first time hearing about this tournament, I suggest watching my last video because in that video I talk about all seven of these rules in details. But now I'm going to talk about the two rules almost everyone messed up, and that is rule one and rule two. Rule one states that you must only have one of these players in your team and as your captain. So here's what a lot of people were doing. Let's say they picked Eon Morgan from England as their captain. They were also picking a second player from this list. So let's say Will William Porterfield and making him a normal player in their team. You can't do that. Either pick Eon Morgan or William Porterfield. You can't have two or more men from this list in your team. And the same goes with the wicket keeper. You can only have one man from this list in your team. But besides that, I was extremely happy of the fact that there are so many people interested in this league of mine. Thank you all here, it's a list of the players that are available to you. Unfortunately, there are only two more spots open and a few more people interested. So as much as I hate to say this, not everyone's team will make it into this year's PGE League. If you want to be one of the first two to qualify, you are going to definitely be one of the first to comment and follow all seven of the rules. Best of luck. 